What's going on, guys? It is your boy, your bud, your compadre. It's Overkills. And welcome to episode one of my Battlefield 1 Weapons Guide. Now, before we get into it, guys, after you're done watching the video, please leave any comments on, I guess, things that you want me to add, take out, or things that you guys feel that I could do better, you know, making these videos. Uh, in the videos, I'll be breaking the weapons uh, guide into three sections. First is going to be the historical overview of the weapon. Next is going to be the statistics of the weapon. And last but not least is my overall personal thoughts or opinions of the weapon. Um, guys, also please remember to like and sub if you enjoy the content. Uh, it would mean a lot to me. And now let's get into it. The MP-18 was designed by Hugo Scheimeiser and manufactured by Theodore Bergman. It was the first practical submachine gun used in combat. It was designed in 1916 and introduced into service in 1918 by the German army during World War I as the primary weapon of the Sturmtruppen, an assault group specialized in trench combat. Although the MP-18 ended, production ended in 1920, uh, its design formed the basis for most submachine guns manufactured between the dates of 1920 and 1960. A soundly engineered piece of equipment with near commercial grade fittings and finish, the MP-18 was a heavy weapon, weighing over 5 kilograms, which is 11 pounds, when fully loaded. Uh, 4.18 kilograms, 9.2 pounds, empty. The receiver tube was very thick, about 3 millimeters compared to later World War II machine guns with half the thickness or less, such as the Sten gun or the MP40. Total length of the MP18 was 832 millimeters, which is 32.8 inches. And the barrel length was 200 millimeters, which is 7.9 inches. Though it was designed with a conventional 20 round capacity box magazine for the weapon, the testing commission for practical reasons, insisted that the MP-18 be adapted to use a 32-round TM-08 Luger snail drum magazine using 9x19 parabellum bullets. Uh, the magazine was widely used uh, with the long barrel version of the P-08 pistol known as the artillery model. After 1920, the MP-18 was modified to use a straight magazine similar to those uh, used and later developed the MP40 machine gun. The MP18 could only fire a, in a full automatic mode. Its successor, the MP282, received a modified mechanism with a selector for single shot or fully automatic fire. Now in Battlefield 1 we were given three types of variants for the MP18 in the assault class. First was the MP18 trench, uh, which is the primary unlock, and it's a Fully automatic weapon and is ideal for close quarter combat uh, because of its accuracy from hip firing. Next up is the MP18 Experimental, which is equipped with a lens sight and deals a three round burst per trigger pull. This is most uh, this is the most accurate of all the MP18 variations. Uh, last is the MP18 Optical, which is fully automatic and is equipped with a lens sight that which helped with its aimed accuracy. Now for statistics. Uh, I am pretty much get all my stats from Simtic.com. I'll leave a link uh, in the description below to their site. They do an incredible job with providing breakdowns uh, for each of the weapons that I'll be using in my videos. Uh, they also do breakdowns of other games I believe such as Titanfall, Battlefront, and last COD game I saw was Ghost I believe on there but their main staple is Battlefield. Now let's get into stats. Uh, let's get into the magazine. It carries 32 bullets and you'll have 128 bullets. That's four full magazines uh, from an empty reload. The reload time from the MP18 trench and optical are the same at about 2.96 seconds from, em from empty. The experimental is a tad smidge longer at 3.3 seconds. Uh, this may be because of the semi automatic feature on the weapon. All variants though, they do reload at 2.1 seconds with leftover bullets in the magazine. 
all variations of the MP18 fire at 550 rounds per minute. They all have damage points that start at 23 and drop to 13.5. So you'll have a damage drop off from 15, minute, 15 meters to 39 meters out, meaning 39 meters and beyond, you'll have the lowage uh, damage drop. Um, the bullet kills will go anywhere from 5 bullets to 8 bullets to kill from 22 to 37 meters, meaning 37 meters and on, it'll take about 8 bullets to kill. The time to kill starts at 441 milliseconds and it caps off at 1049 milliseconds. I've uh, put on the screen, you know, the graphs of all the stats for you guys to take a look at. Um, now the recoil and accuracy plot, accuracy plot of the MP18 variants have, you know, they pretty much follow a, a similar plot. Uh, the optical uh, and trench, ADS and hip fire have a up recoil of 0.38 and left and right are equal at 0.23. The experimental though, since it's a semi-auto, has a bit of a tighter recoil left and right pattern, which is 0.161. The recoil up stays at 0.38 though, just like the uh, trench and and uh, optical. The bullet spread on all three variants are a bit different, and I'll post them up on the screen right now. The spread of the trench seems to be the widest followed by optical and experimental. So that'll do it for the stats. Now, let's talk about the way I use this weapon. I personally like to get as close as possible with this weapon so I can either hit fire or try to engage multiple enemies. If you burst fire the weapon from a medium to you know longer engagement, um, you'll control your recoil a little bit better. Uh, this ideal, this is an ideal weapon for those starting out because of the rate of fire and the ability to shoot from hip uh, when close to enemies. While those seasoned veterans uh, that have been playing Battlefield or, you know, continue to play Battlefield uh, will move away from this weapon for a more ranged weapon. In the right hands, this weapon can be as deadly as it proved to be in the World War One era. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for my M18 guide, MP18 guide. Please subscribe in order to be notified, you know, of the next uh, weapon guy video. And I appreciate you guys viewing and have a great, great day.